Hey students, welcome to episode two of Hey Students, where I just talk about things that I like and things that I'm learning and I'll try to make it not boring. It's raining right now and there is nothing better. I spent my childhood in the Seattle area in Washington state and it rains a lot there, like a lot, a lot. And whenever it rains here in Utah, I'm just like, I miss it. Please rain every day. I love it. Today, we're gonna talk about some of my hobbies that I love so much. One of them is audiobooks, and we're also gonna talk about Legos. Let's get to talking about something that I love so much, and that's audiobooks. So I started listening to audiobooks when I was like, I don't know, 10 or 11. I got a hold from the library some Star Wars audiobooks, <laughs> which even back then, this is like, I don't know, 1995-ish. Even back then, the Star Wars audiobooks were awesome. And they still are like this. They have sound effects and music, and the narrators usually do different voices and stuff, and they're really fun. Um, so I got into audiobooks back then. And then I got introduced to Harry Potter by my sister, Arielle. We went on a family road trip and she was like, can we listen to the Harry Potter books? And at the time I had seen the first movie, but I was like, meh. And I thought that Harry Potter was like really lame. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's for kids and stuff. But we listened to that book on the trip and about an hour or two into it, I just got sucked in. And they're probably my favorite audiobooks of all time. So anyway, we're gonna look at some other audiobooks that I love. I keep track of the books that I read on this site called Goodreads. Let's, uh, let's go to the computer and check them out. So here I am on my Goodreads account, some of my favorite audiobooks. So some of these books you might wanna check with your parents to see if, if it's okay for you to read them. Anyway, so these are some of my favorite books. Ready Player One. Oh, I love this book so much. It's so fun. The movie was okay, but the audiobook was great. The Only Plane in the Sky, this was about 9-11 and I learned so much from it. It has a, a cast of like different narrators reading it and it was really interesting and, and it was good for me to hear. Biography of George Lucas, my favorite filmmaker of all time. The Five Love Languages of Children. Oh, this was so good. This changed my life. Trying to be a better dad um, and this this gave me a lot of ideas to, to be a better dad for my, for my children. Um, all These Worlds for We Are Many and We Are Legion. <laughs> these are from the Bobaverse. They are so fun. <laughs> It's about this guy who gets turned into a computer program and then cloned over and over again, and he's up in space. And it's hard to explain, but it's so good. It's funny. I listened to Harry Potter y la Piedra Filosofal. So I, I listened to the whole thing in Spanish. It was really cool. Sarah Plain and Tall, for some reason, I loved it so much. Um, Harry Potter, The History of Magic, Norse Mythology. So about Thor and you know, Valhalla and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, read by Eddie Redmayne. This was awesome. Matilda, oh, I love this one. This is my favorite rolled doll book. Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. This is uh, to help me budget. I'm gonna talk more about this in the future. Um, this is probably one of my favorite Star Wars books, actually. It's one meant for children. <laughs> this is a different telling of A New Hope. The Tales of Beetle the Bard, this was awesome. It has sound effects and music and, and a different readers. It was really good. The Way of Kings oh, from the Stormlight Archive, Brandon Sanderson. My favorite fantasy writer. The Princess Bride, one of the funniest books I've ever read or listened to. The Book Thief, I love this one. All the Lord of the Rings books, I just finished them this month in July. They're incredible. They're so good. When they're read by uh, Rob Inglis. Mistborn, all the Mistborn books are incredible. The Speaker for the Dead, the, the Speaker for the Dead series, which has three books. It's inside of the Enderverse, so Ender's Game. It's a sequel to Ender's Game. Speaker for the Dead, Xenocide, and Children of the Mind. Um, they're my favorite Ender's Game books, and I've, I've listened to all of them. And then, of course, Harry Potter, my favorite audiobooks of all time, all, all seven Harry Potter books. So uh, that's me and audiobooks. Love them. I listen to them all the time. I've listened to 100 so far this year in 2020. This, we're in July, so a little over half the year. I've listened to 100 audiobooks. I love them. I love this movie. <laughs> So one of my favorite things are Legos. 
Rebels. If you have ever been in my classroom, you know I have Star Wars spaceships. My son loves Legos. He plays with them every single day. His favorite sets are Ninjago sets. Just wanted to show you some of the Legos we have here at our house. I don't have a massive collection. I bet there are plenty of you who have bigger collections than I do. I don't know, I'm a teacher. I can't afford a lot. Most of my Legos, most of them are from family members and friends. Christmas and birthdays and stuff. This is a fun set. This is actually not a Lego set. This is uh, the Provo City Center Temple. Um, and these are called Brickham Young pieces. It's a fun one. This is our Harry Potter set. Um, we have a few, so I know we don't have all of them, but these are so fun. Here's the, like the Gryffindor dorm room, maybe? I don't know. And a classroom. This is the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom with Mad-Eye Moody. And there's the spider supposed to be in there. And then just some other classrooms. Here's the Prefect bathroom and Dumbledore's room with the Pensieve. And then here you can make these guys dance. Whee! They're dancing because they're in the dual ball. And then here we have another part of Hogwarts. Here's the Amir of Erised and a classroom with the sorting hat. And I think this is potions. And here's the Great Hall with Harry and Ron and some of the faculty. Here's the Basilisk. And here's Malfoy, Draco Malfoy. Not me, not Hermione, you. And over here, here's Hagrid in the boat and here's his house. So here's Buckbeak, and back there we have the gang, Ron, Harry, Hermione, and here's Cornelius Funch, Minister of Magic. Bunch of pumpkins and stuff. Hedwig. Oh look, there's the yellow frog. And of course, my house, Slytherin. Snakes for the cup, woo! Hermione, Hermione, Hermione. Ron Weasley. Okay, everyone, that's it. We did it. Second episode of Hey Students. Hey, you guys are awesome. Love being your teacher. I'm excited to see you guys once we're back from the summertime. Things are gonna be different, but it'll be fun to have you guys back in the classroom and we can make some cool music. Have a good week, and I'll catch you on the flippity flip. Rain four times a rain four times a week and then rain one time three days. No. Rain four times a week and three days don't rain. I can do math.